So this particular poem is called Golf. I enjoy it. Golf, he says the name of this game, and he explained all the rules and the ultimate aim. He said the game's pretty basic, no trouble at all, it's mainly a matter of just hitting the ball. Keep hitting that ball, the small and round, till it finally falls down a hole on the ground. He said you'll need to keep score, but that's not too hard, and he gave me a pen and a little white card. <laughs> then he held up a club, looked more like a stick. He said there's a bag over there, go take your pick. So I grabbed the one that I thought I should. He said, that one's an iron, you'll need a wood. <laughs> so I chose a wood that looked okay to me. He said, that one's a four, go get a three. So I'm standing there ready with the club that he said, and these words full of wisdom, still fresh in my head. Address the ball, take note of your stance, hold the club right or you won't stand a chance. Keep your head down, don't look up. Try and picture the ball rolling into the cup. Let the club follow through. Now the right foot to pivot, then pick up your tee and replace your divot. <laughs> now I've got my big chance to a last show of class, so I pull out a tee, push it into the grass. How luminous can it possibly be to hit a white ball perched up on a tee? So I placed my feet squarely and swiveled my hips, pulled in my tongue and I tightened my lips. I brought back the club, like he said that I should, and I swung it back down just as hard as I could. I looked up ahead to where the ball ought to be, then back at my feet, it was still on the tee. He said, keep swinging, mate, you're bound to improve. So I swung and I swung, but that ball wouldn't move. <laughs> but when I did hit the ball, it soared up out of sight. Because when it came down, I realised my plight. It had landed in something I can't understand. A hole had been dug and then filled with sand. An act of destruction, a bloomin' disgrace, and my ball half buried right down my face. <laughs> so I'm swinging and cursing to get the ball out of there. There's sand down my shirt and it's all through my hair. I've used a few words, plus the Lord's name in vain, when a passerby stops and takes time to explain. That club you swing will do you no good. Go get an iron instead of using a wood. So after more cursing, more sand in my hair, I keep swinging and swearing and hitting the air. And at last I flew one and connect the ball well, it comes out of that scene like a bat out of hell. It heads for the heavens, or somewhere beyond, clears all the trees, and straight in the pond. It's now that I learn that the ball doesn't float. Eyes out in the middle, a sign of a boat. So I've come the shoes off with the socks, down with the trousers, I'm there in me jocks. I'm getting wolf whistle and all sorts of calls because I'm standing in the water that's up to me waist. <laughs> As I continue my search for that little white ball in water so cold, must have made me look small. Some bloke makes a comment I thought was fair. He said, they'll never hit the ball while it's laying out there. Bring it back to the bank, take a drop to the spot, it'll cost you a stroke, you at least have a shot. I hit the ball from there and it came out clean. It hung up in the air and then dropped on the green. I replaced the iron in the bag and I pull out the, the putter. I'm a metre from the hole. <laughs> My heart's all a flower. I apologise quickly to the man up above, wipe the ball clean and take off the glove. Then I line up the putt, like they do on TV, crouch over the ball, slight bend in the knee. I draw back the club the amount that I need and I tap that ball at just the right speed. It rolls to the hole and then as if out of spite, about a foot from the hole, it veers to the right. It gathers more speed, it's going too fast, it misses the hole and keeps rolling past. That leaves me a putt of two metres or more. Another try turned that two into four. But I was determined I wouldn't give up. It took three more putts before it got to the cup. Finally drops in and what's done is done. I reflect on this game and all of its fun. The places I've been in pursuit of that ball through lakes and sand, true short and tall, I've tallied me shots. I've scored 73. Now can someone please show me to the next bloody team? <laughs> <laughs> true story.